Hello, my name is Evan with Across International, and today we're going to be discussing some frequently asked questions related to our controlled atmosphere furnace line. Behind me I have one of our 1700 Celsius models, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first and foremost, all Across International controlled atmosphere furnaces utilize a water-cooled gasket. This water-cooled gasket is essential for the operation of the unit, and you need to keep in mind that you do need a cooling water source in order to operate the furnace. All of our furnaces come with an aquatic pump that you can simply submerge into a five gallon bucket like you see to my left here, or you can utilize house water as well as a chiller. No matter what option you utilize, please keep in mind that you do need a cooling water source in order for your controlled atmosphere furnace to operate properly. So FAQ number one, please keep in mind that all of the door gaskets on our controlled atmosphere furnace are water cooled and you will need a cooling water source for them. Now, another great thing to keep in mind with our controlled atmosphere furnace is that when you look at the specifications online, you'll see two different sizes for the chamber. One is listed as the nominal chamber size and the other is listed as the usable chamber size. Please keep in mind that the nominal chamber size is the true size of the chamber, but because of the heating elements and the spacing in there, we advise about a half inch to an inch of empty space on each side. This is where the usable chamber spec is going to come into play. So please keep in mind that there is a difference between the nominal and usable chamber size when you're selecting your model. Now another big thing to keep in mind with our controlled atmosphere furnace is that even though this unit is rated for 1700 Celsius, that doesn't mean it can operate at that temperature indefinitely. All of our furnaces can operate at maximum temperature for two hours. Aside from that, they have a maximum constant temperature that's 100 Celsius below their maximum. For example, this unit here can run at 1,700 Celsius for two hours, or it could run at 1,600 Celsius indefinitely. So please keep in mind the maximum working temperature versus the maximum constant temperature. Now, on the note of temperature, there's another great thing to keep in mind with our controlled atmosphere furnace. While this unit is rated for 1,700 Celsius, that's gonna be for operation under ambient conditions. Once we pull vacuum on the unit or supply certain inert gases to the chamber, that maximum temperature is gonna lower. For example, if we were to pull vacuum on this chamber, the maximum temperature that we could reach in there is 1,400 Celsius, as opposed to the 1,700 Celsius that could achieve under atmosphere. So just a few small nuances to keep in mind with our controlled atmosphere furnaces. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at acrossinternational.com.